All right. Well, I'm hoping it's less complicated. You are? <laughs> no. All right. Hold okay. your breath. <gasps> Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. Hi, I'm Skinny Kenny. I'm Musclehead Kevin. And we're, we're the Clark Brothers. Welcome, Welcome to Brothers, Brothers Bistro. Wow, what do we got on tap tonight, bud? Well, tonight we've got a special one. This was a viewer request, and we've got a special ingredient we're gonna do. Instead, it's chicken pot pie, but instead of the pastry crust, we're gonna do that crust out of cauliflower rice. Rice, rice cauliflower, cauliflower. Yeah, right. however you see it. So, when our subscribers talk, we listen. You just gotta give us a little <laughs> note. Yeah, and if our endorsers would talk, we'd listen to them too. That's true, that's true, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be a really fun one, guys. We're not sure how this is going to turn out well, at we're, all. We're using uh, high-tech equipment. We got an Instapot in the house, so we're going to try and use and that. And a kombucha out. squash. And we got some squash that the guy in the vegetable section pointed out to us. We didn't even know where to find it. So, you know. All right, so this is it, baby. What do you think? Yeah, it looks a little more calm. Let's walk them through it. Let's walk them through it before you get too uh, anxious about it. So we got two kinds of Parmesan cheese here. We got Parmesan cheese you can buy it grated in the store. That's usually what we go with. But we happen to have some Parmesan cheese. In I thought a, that was like butter. In a, no, this is Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and, and we can grate this if we want. So we haven't decided what we're going to do. We got both varieties. We got some salt and pepper, thyme, cauliflower, mushrooms. This is the kabucha squash. Kabacha, kabocha, whatever it is, squash. We're, we're still not sure about this one. We think we're going to carve it up like an apple or a pumpkin and see if we can get well, the meat out Well, I think we got to cut the, yeah, the rind off. And then, and, then, uh, and then we got celery, green beans. Of course, our chicken. This is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And we got some almond milk. milk. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make up the little mixings and it's going to go into our... Yeah. Instapot, this right? is the one thing that you know we didn't really talk about. This is the chicken broth. It calls for one cook cup, one cup of chicken broth. But this, these little guys, this is like a like an dehydrated. I've seen this uh, two ways. I've seen these in littler cubes. How do you say this it? is nor? Yeah, I think it's nor. It's nor. K n o r r. And I've seen it in smaller cubes, which is like one cup. This is a little bit bigger, like a rectangle, and it calls for two cups of water. So we'll have to cut it in half. But either way, you just put it in some hot water, it dissolves pretty easily, and then you, instead of getting your chicken broth in a big container, you just... And voila. It. And, and, voila. It's, and it keeps for a lot longer than the chicken broth would yeah. keep, right? It's because it's hybrid. We didn't want to bore the viewers with all the dicing, but we did leave the kabocha, or however you say that, because uh, yeah. we've never actually opened one. So we did a little Google. We think you're supposed to slice it open, or we're supposed to get the meat out, and we need a half a cup. Kind of like an apple slice, and I think we're gonna cut away the rind. We're gonna see what it looks like when we open it up. I'm ready, as... open it up, bad boy. Really? Yeah, yeah, do right it. Right now? Yeah, do it right now. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared too. You need a you need a bigger knife? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out, buddy. <laughs> you gotta act like you really mean it. I don't know, maybe. Oh, now you're like that lumberjack guy with the with the, the thing, you're trying to split the logs. Yeah. You gotta yeah. take your shirt off. I gotta <laughs> Okay, so look what we got, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna have to scoop these out. Right. We'll get ourselves a spoon. And we'll scoop this out. Let me see if I Because we it. only need... We only need, I think, a quarter cup or half a cup. It's a half a cup. Yeah, half a cup. So we're getting the, getting the seeds out. This is under ignored the bowl that I gave him, but... Oh, for the seeds, gotcha. And that's probably got a half a cup right there. Yeah, so you can get rid of the other one and let's see what happens here. Let's cut this one up a little more. Another half. Now we're in quarters. It's really, it's really hard. So we're gonna have to spoon it out, I think. No, well, you can try spooning it out. I don't think I'll spoon. You don't think? Go ahead, spoon, buddy. Spoon, no, go ahead, go ahead, spoon it. Spoon it. See, he's spooning wow. it. Wow. <laughs> That's not going to work. So I think we're just going to have to cut away the rind. Okay. Even that's kind of hard. Or, I don't know. You to hold it? Wow. Okay. Whose idea was this? Well, so someone out there in the viewing audience has got to know what the secret is for uh, getting the meat out of the kabocha melons. Whatever these are, kabocha squash. Okay, let me see. 
Let's see what our... There you go. It, it seems like that's gonna be too thick. Oh, there you go, look at that! That's it, baby! Now we're talking. Well, we're getting that, I mean, we know that the outside is that tough spot, right? So we gotta get that off of there. And then once we get this off of here, I think we could, we can dice it up. Yeah, I agree. I just agree. get the, I agree. It's like get a down to the meat of it. We're treating it like a potato a little bit. Yeah, that's true. And it is harder, I'd say it's harder than a potato. Yeah, for sure. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think that's okay. okay. And that's probably half a cup there. Okay, we got our rice, our cauliflower. We got right? our rice, and we're gonna add our half a cup of water. All right. Not quite sure what that's all about, because it's not. That's a lot of rice for a half a cup of water. But we're gonna stir it in there, mix it up, and we're gonna put this in the microwave. Remember how long they said? No. Five minutes. Ha. And remember, we used frozen rice yeah. cauliflower with no extra seasoning or spices or anything. It's just that's the cauliflower. True. Um, and we've added a little bit of water. So there's also a little bit of water because it's frozen. Yeah, so. and we have discovered with rice cauliflower that you kind of need to make sure it's al dente before you uh, you go with it. So we're gonna probably cook it more than the five minutes that it takes, partly because it's frozen, but partly because we know you gotta get this stuff tender or it ends up not tasting good when you're done. You hear that? <laughs> Wow! Wow, that sounded like a freight train. Oh yeah, well, sometimes it sounds like a freight train. Other times it sounds like a dragonfly. You well, can't bring it over, sure. buddy, bring okay, it over. here's our okay. cauliflower. See that steam rising? We've got, we've got to strain it, we've got to get it in here. Yeah, we've got to get it in here. So we're gonna strain the cauliflower, that's what the recipe calls for. So you can see the steam rising. So he's, Woo, putting, that's he's putting it into this strainer, call yeah, it trying basically. To, trying to strain it a little bit. And now we're gonna do one better. We're gonna put it in a towel we got a little dish towel here. You can use cheesecloth too if you like. But we're gonna pour it into this, this towel. Okay, so and it's then, in the towel. And then we're gonna gra gather the corners like this. And we're gonna ring it. Ring it, baby. Wow, look at that go. Okay, so it's a little hot. You're supposed to let it cool. And I, we didn't <laughs> let it cool. So, because we never follow the directions entirely. He's got the mitt on there now so they can kind of ring it. And the ring it is getting all that moisture out. That's what they called for so you can make it kind of into this crust. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to get that. Ouch. And when it goes into the Instant Pot, of course, it's sealed. So it's not letting that steam out as much. You want to try? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> it's really hot. Uh, to a fireman, it's hot? Well, I know, exactly. That was my point. You, you, got, you're, you got asbestos running in your blood, right? So now what we got to do is we've got... Wow, that. that's all we had in the cauliflower. No, it reduced down to not much. And this is one of the challenges we've had in the past is frozen cauliflower really reduces down. We actually put more cauliflower in here than the recipe calls for, but it still reduced down quite a bit. So we're going to just see how this goes. We might end up with one pie, <laughs> one chicken pot pie and not two. But the, the, the recipe calls for now, we're going to mix in an egg and, and the Parmesan. The Parmesan. Okay. So dump, dump those over there. Yeah. And we, we've lost the spoon somewhere along the way. So, so we're going to mix up the spoon. And this just gets set to the side? That just gets set to the side. That's one quarter of the cauliflower. And I think that that is going to go in the in the pie itself. Okay. So here we're trying to Make mix the up these. This is, this is the crust, right? And we're going to basically separate this out into quarters. And we're going to make little crusts a top and a bottom okay that's going to go into the oven and it's going to go on a baking sheet guys it's going to go on a baking sheet so i think we got to kind of mush this stuff together so it well it's got to be a flat piece yeah, right i think so because we're making these pies the instructions weren't super descriptive but yeah that's what it seems like to me okay so now we got four little guys that are going to go on the bottom of this style this size thing and we're gonna go into the oven. You ready? We're ready. All right, here we go until it's golden brown. Until it's golden brown, baby. All right, we'll be back when it's golden brown. That's right. We just dump it all in there? Okay, buddy. Yeah, we just dump it all in there. So this is- Wow, the I like this. Pot. We haven't used this Instapot much. In fact, this is our first time. Full disclosure, this could go very badly. But we've got a <laughs> lid on this one. This particular one is also an air fryer. So that's why it's got two lids. But we're using the Instapot lid. So 
So we take the Instant Pot lid off, and we're just gonna put all this stuff in there, buddy. Hey, let's do it. All right, I got the, uh, the here's the chicken bouillon. Here's the uh, celery. Celery and the green beans. Here's that that uh, melon, that whatever that is, that uh, squash. Squash that we had so much trouble with. There's all the meat. And the salt. There's a little salt. We got a, we're having a little trouble with our salt. Got stuck to the bottom. Okay, okay we'll so get we all of our rice salt in there. Right? We got the salt and pepper. And that's it, baby. So now we lock this, oops, no, we don't lock that lid down. We lock this lid down. <laughs> And then we push the button down there. Can you see? Is that Let's button see if I can the right get button? It here. Ha, ha, ha. Bang, Gina. Okay, so now we're good. We're gonna. This Shut is gonna be in here. Is it not hot? The ninja. This ninja pressure cooker slash uh, air fryer was was a little bit complicated. We had to figure it out, but we had to put it in preheat mode, and then it finally clicked over. So we got about five minutes left on this to cook the the the, uh, the the pie filling and we've got about a few minutes here for the uh look oh, for look the pie there. crust that's the crust it's a brown on the down. outside so i think we pull that out and you let it cool or do we yeah, just we it let out? it cool and we're gonna put it uh one of them is that it goes in the bottom of the uh pan look at the, look the, look the look. bowl show we're us what use, you got buddy we're gonna use these bowls so one okay. of them goes in the bottom and one of them goes on the top. Okay. And then in the between, it's kind of a sandwich. We're gonna the put filling. the field filling that is cooking in the in the crock pot. Okay. Wow. That's Instant gonna pot. It's looking shape it up. Yep. Put one in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. Already. Yep. One in the bottom. Well, that turned out pretty good. And one on the top. Then we get done. Okay. All right. And then the spoon will help. I would have thought we're supposed to let this we're supposed to let this vent totally before we uh, let's put the bigger one in the bottom. Oh, all right. Man, not all over the place. I made it. Okay, so he's cooping it out. It's a little watery, so we want to make sure we get we get it not too watery. A lot of meat, not a lot of the other stuff. Well, we got other stuff here. Huh? It's kind of interesting. It's soupy in the bottom. I'm not sure. What we did wrong? Well, you think it's supposed to be more, uh, I don't know, less soupy? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, well, I don't know. I have no idea. To me, like our bowl's a little big, and we could have, if we had to do it, had to do it over again, we'd have spread out our cauliflower rice a little longer to get a little thinner. Yeah, piece, yeah, and sure. We'll go over the whole thing because sure. our bowls were a little bit bigger, but we really didn't know what we didn't know, right? We just didn't know. All right, so we got it done. We got it done, baby. We got it it's done. It's a little. Uh, I'm I'm anxious to see here here what this is gonna taste like. The cauliflower here, here rice and a little chicken and a little bit of the bean. Hmm. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. There's no carrots, which you would normally expect in chicken pot pie, and there's no peas. And the gravy thing, like there's usually like a little gravy. Yeah, thing. there was a lot of liquid in the bottom of the. Uh, but I don't know if that would have been any good because this stuff would have all. Oh, this, water. this seems this seems all right to me. So you got to try it out. Um, it took a little bit of doing, right? But yeah. we tried out our Instant Pot. We've learned a lot with the rice cauliflower because we've used it as breading on a number of things. And you definitely got to squeeze the liquid out. You got to put it in the oven. You got to get that golden brown. We did a pretty good job, I think, on the cauliflower. Yeah, the cauliflower tastes good. I mean, it's just the, the it, other it's a little bit here, like, a, like a potato kind of yeah. a filling. The other unknown here was the Instant Pot. We didn't really understand. You know, this was all brand new. So if we had it to do it over again, I would have See if we could find a little bit of a smaller serving Whoa. size, because I think these are two servings each. You think? I think so. Yeah, wow. the recipe said there's four servings total, so I think the half of the pie per person. Okay, but we would love to hear your take on it. I think this was fun. You know, yeah, and, and you and know, one of our it. one of our uh, rabid fans uh, yeah. offered up this. You know, challenged us. Yeah. So we want you to challenge us. Yeah. 
And there's the chicken pot pie that you guys that's, were asking for. <laughs> that's right. So, Brothers Bistro, out. <laughs> <laughs>